Hello and welcome to the presentation of Inquisition, the controller for Blackmagic Cinema Micro. After I noticed that filming with the Sony Alpha 58 is not optimal, I researched which camera has the best price slash performance ratio. The Cinema Micro from Blackmagic Design was always praised in the sky, so I invested in one. It's a miniaturized Super 16 camera, with only 6 buttons, which is actually designed for drones. Anyone who owns this wonderful cinema camera knows that it offers fantastic image quality for a ridiculous bargain of 1000 euro, but is not particularly good in usability. With 6 buttons on the front and without a built-in screen, it doesn't come close to the usability of a Ursa, for example. Nevertheless, many professional filmmakers would wish for improved control because there is hardly another cinema camera that is so compact and therefore so versatile, for example as a front camera for a car scene. Of course, the missing screen and complicated controls annoyed me a bit, especially as I don't have the time to click through the menu. The camera delivers professional pictures in cinema quality, but to configure and operate a remote control is not everyone's cup of tea. There are too many single parts. Power supply, receiver, transmitter. But it's easier. If you want to have it wired, which is sufficient in most cases, a controller and a cable are okay. For this reason, I have developed a controller that provides a remedy. During the development of the Inquisition, it was important to me to achieve the most comfortable operation possible I mean quick access to the individual options and their modification. The cinema camera is controlled via S-Bus, which enables Inquisition to address 11 functions. Cheap PWM solutions were limited to 4 functions after only 4 servo inputs were available. I experimented a bit with the PWM inputs and found out that the S-Bus is ideal because it offers 17 precise digital channels, of which the camera used only 11. It offered access to functions that were otherwise unavailable, such as autofocus. With pleasure I started to build and write a firmware that meets the requirements of filmmaking. After the first prototype with 16x2 LCD I decided to build a version with TFT screen. Now, after many months of work, a second prototype is ready and will be tested in the field. Herewith I present the second prototype of Inquisition. I chose the name because the Inquisition was responsible for the control of the black magic. I don't want to disrespect the victims of the Inquisition, but I love the name. The current setup is, 2.8 TFT touchscreen, expansion port, 3 sliders, and 3.5mm TRRS jack with composite video output for my Vision 750i viewfinder. For final version I would like to add momentary buttons for record and autofocus, and cinch for video output. In addition the whole becomes more compact. My goal was to make it easier for users of lenses with motorized focus to work with focus. Autofocus, focus range, and focus points were an important part of the development. Automatic focus drives with selectable speeds shall be now possible too. Inquisition is connected to the camera via a thick VGA cable, as known from PC monitors. The use of these cables is associated with the restriction that the camera cannot be supplied with power because middle pins are short circuit. However, these cables are very cheap. All functions are displayed on the screen and options can be selected directly. These are not only the analog functions such as codec selection and frames per second, but also the functions that are usually controlled digitally, i.e. with up slash down signals. Since S-Bus does not provide a feedback channel for information, the current values must be entered into the controller. However, they remain stored after switching off and do not have to be changed until the camera has been adjusted manually. This results in enormous time savings for camera operators. ISO, white balance, and shutter angle can be selected directly, even if other controllers have only up slash down selections. It is also worth mentioning that there is a white balance help which tells you hints, which temperature is recommended in which situation but it does not replace a professional colorimeter. 
With the software version 0.9 you can even change associated SBUS channels to meet your own needs. However, the preset meets the preset of the camera. Special attention has been given to focusing, with modes for focus range and focus speed as well as iris, where fixed focus values can also be stored, both controlled by their own sliders. The third slider will be replaced by a rotary knob in the next version. It controls audio levels. The fact is that I cannibalized parts of a disassembled defective cassette recorder for the prototype and therefore I had three slider controls on one board. I will extend the software and the board even more. By the way, I accept requests to build these controllers on order according to the first come first serve principle, but since I have to order the parts first, it can take up to a month until I have a finished version ready for shipment. I hope, you enjoyed this small presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. <laughs>